this is my striker nomad build it consists of four piece striker two piece nomad i go through each of the items and i go through each of the weapon talents essentially this uh, this build gives you a lot of dps output for pve activities and pvp uh, but it also gives you a lot of sustainability through health on kill and uh, a few weapon talents which i'll take you through shortly so let's start off with a chest piece I'll strip it down so you can see what we're working with at the very base level. There's a striker harness, 1226 um, stamina, which is not too bad. 1992 armor, which is pretty good. 4% health on kill, 15% health, and 52% ammo capacity. This could be tweaked a little bit more to get a little bit more uh, enemy armor damage if you rolled off the health for enemy armor damage, but that would put you on this build somewhere around the 300,000 toughness mark which is starting to get to that border where you don't really want to get to uh, because it takes you it does get you like a little bit too too squishy but if you're playing with a squad uh, or you're playing with a dedicated healer then by all means switch that out for enemy armor damage because uh, you will see the benefits of doing that uh, next up is my backpack striker's backpack 1240 firearms and uh, I've got an electronics mod in here uh, 260 256 electronics and 3122 health I've got health rolled on this and disrupt resistance. So this is uh, critical because it's keeping this toughness up. Uh, but disrupt resistance, you could roll for ammo capacity just to uh, save you having to restart or pick up ammo as much as I do. The Nomad Mask, uh, 981 armor, pretty good. 1214 firearms, which is again pretty good. Yeah, I've got a stamina mod in here, 261 stamina and 3137 health. It's rolled with 8% enemy armor damage and 9% damage to elites. The gloves. Nomad gloves, again, it's not a bad armor roll, 948 native armor, 1255 firearms, which is really good. Assault rifle damage, enemy armor damage, and health on kill. I'll go through why health on kill is pretty important to this build shortly, but just if you if you wanted to get rid of 4% health on kill and trade it off for something else, you know, feel free. Striker knee pads, 1566 armor, not bad, not bad armor. Um, it, it's not you know as up as high as these ones, but 1566 is uh, not to be grumbled at. 1129 firearms, which could be put up a little bit more. Enemy armor damage at 4%, 30% damage to elites, the max is 14, and the striker holster, pretty decent holster, 1261 firearms, 1229 stamina, 1268 electronics, I rolled it with reload speed, that's what I prefer as uh, the major attribute on a holster for all my PV builds, keeps me reloading, gets me back in the action and keeps the DPS output going. And uh, yeah, 946 armor, it's not a bad holster. My weapons, and this is where all this comes into play, I have a uh, lightweight M4, Grab the blueprint this week if you haven't already. Uh, I grabbed it and I've rolled a couple for specific activities. This one is specifically for this build. It's a lightweight M4, like I said. It's got 19.5k um, damage with my firearms, 22% armor damage, talents are predatory, and I'm rocking an electronics mod just to meet this requirement here. Killing a target regenerates 35% health over 20 seconds. I've got it with sustained, so killing a target increases your health by 6%, and disruptive. Ammo destruction value is increased by 15% when using this weapon. Um, these aren't uh, super important. They're nothing that's really too different from the norm. I've got a VX1 12x uh, scope with 18% headshot damage, 3% crit chance, and 4% crit hit damage. I've got an Omega rifle suppressor. Again, headshot damage, so 18.5 headshot damage, 4% crit hit damage, 3% crit hit chance. Hand stop, 29.5% uh, reload speed. Again, uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, reload speed is, uh, you know, I find it important to my builds, but you know, feel free to swap this out if you're on console and you wanted, uh, you know, a, a high stability or, or something along those. Uh, tweak this one uh, as you see fit. You might want to go with a crit hit damage uh, grip. It's entirely up to you. Uh, I've got 29.5% reload speed, 4% crit hit damage, and 2% accuracy. And then the extended mag was the same extended mag that I recommended uh, in the uh, PVE focus vendor reset video. 110% magazine size, 5% um, reload speed, and 5.2% rate of fire. I don't really use my M700 uh, for this build, but if I do need to, it's got a deadly, destructive, and brutal. It's a pretty decent damage roll, and it's a relatively high headshot head damage roll. This has been mine for, I think, since one, uh, early 1.5. Really good roll. The mag's on the M700 if you're interested. If not, feel free to skip this part. Uh, again, same as the, uh, the lightweight M4. I've got an 18% uh, headshot damage, 3% crit hit chance, 4% crit hit damage VX1 scope, uh, an 18% headshot damage uh, rifle suppressor with 3% crit hit chance and 4% crit hit damage. 
a small grip, crit hit damage, reload speed and accuracy. You know, reload speed isn't as much of an issue on the um, the M700. It's a bolt action. So yeah, you, you could, you, again, again, if you wanted to tweak this for stability or reload or whatever else, um, you know, feel free. And then extended bag, 110.5% uh, magazine size, 3% crit hit chance, just to give me a little bit more crit hit chance on the uh, the maximum rifle, and 4%, 4.5% reload speed. So my firearm, stamina, and electronics are all based off these. These are not what's really impressive. Uh, weapon damage, uh, crit chance, crit, sh crit hit damage. Um, again, it's not. Uh, these are not amazing values, but we're going with raw damage output for PVE. Uh, we're not relying on uh, you know crit hit chance. And then obviously, because you've only got a chance, you know the damage that you're going to do is going to be buffed by this. Uh, we're focusing on pure PV damage output for this. Reload speed bonus. This is why I like relo uh, reload speed on uh, my grip and on my uh, holster. It gives me you know quite a lot of reload speed. You know, my reload is under two seconds, which is is really good. I, I really do miss it when I've not got it. Assault rifle damage bonus from the gloves, and then this is where we get into the the interesting stuff. So we've got damage to elites at the moment is 22%. Um, I'll be putting up a uh, an updated build for my PV build where I've got this around 50, and I've got my enemy da enemy, da enemy armor damage around uh, around 70%. Health on kill is 29%. So every time I kill an enemy, I'm getting my health refilled by you know almost third. I kill a couple of enemies, my health bar is full, uh, and then because of predatory, once I've killed a couple of enemies, um, if I'm not anywhere near full or I'm consi consistently taking damage. Predatory is procking and it's giving me 35% health over 20 seconds. Really good in my opinion. Armor, 32.38%, you know, fairly respectable. Uh, max health, still quite pretty high, 226,691. Yeah, it's not too bad. And then obviously health regen doesn't really come into play because of the amount of damage that uh, NPCs are outputting, but it's better than nothing. But uh, yeah, it, this is this build is uh, nowhere near as min-maxed as my PV pure damage output build, but... Um, uh, yeah, these are all little improvements that you could make. I'll take you through my talents. Again, these talents are um, about uh, sustain more than they are about pure damage. So we've got adrenaline. So if I need to proc a med kit, it will heal over 10 seconds and it will, won't will stop as soon as you take damage. Uh, using a med kit during low health to increase damage resistance for 20% over 10 seconds with critical save. Again, I think this is uh, a must have when you get in those sticky situations. You need to pop a med kit and you need to get out of there. On the move, this is probably the, the talent that you could switch for something else if you really wanted to. Maybe precision uh, or uh, uh, maybe strike back. But essentially if I can kill an NPC and a lot of the time I will either be up in faces or face trading with a lot of enemies. If I manage to kill one, I've got to get increased damage resistance by 15% uh, for 10 seconds. And then I've got one is none. This, uh, especially on PC, <laughs> this talent is, is second to none. You know, if you stand in front of a, a heavy NPC, and you're hitting him in the head with uh, your AR or whatever weapon you want to be using, a shotgun or whatever. You know, each bullet that you're going to hit is going to have a you know 50% chance of uh, not being used. So I can quite easily stand in front of a heavy NPC in Lexington or, or wherever, keep hitting them in the head. My clip just keeps going and going and going, and, the, and you know they're dropped before I need to reload. As I said on the gear before, you know the the, the most important part of this build for the two-piece Nomad is this 15% health on kill. And this is this is okay in itself. But when you tie it with the health on kill that I've got on the gloves, and when you tie it with the, uh, the predatory and, and sustained, the the amount of uh, health that you're getting back every single time you kill an enemy is it, it, it's, it's great in my opinion. I'll, I'll throw it over to some gameplay now so you can see how this went with a, a solo um, Russian consulate run. I think my survivor link procced once. Uh, I just lost track of an enemy. And got a little overwhelmed. Um, I've run Russian Consulate, Lexington, uh, and uh, challenging missions with this build. And you know, if you play clever, uh, you keep track of where your targets are. You will have no issue whatsoever soloing those missions, in my opinion. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. Um, <laughs> I'll throw it over some gameplay, and I'll let you see what this build is all about. Thanks, guys.
Hostiles inbound on your position. inbound on your position. inbound on your position. Whatever did that to you was Shade Tech, which means there's someone in your vicinity using Shade Tech, which makes them our new target. Reacquire that tech and turn it with data with it. Anyway.
And that's it for yet another video. If you like the content that I've been putting out lately, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out massively. It really does. Um, if you liked this video, please feel free to give it a like. Uh, drop a comment down below if you've got anything that you want to add, anything that you would change, anything that um, you think I should investigate. Uh, like I said, I take on board all comments, uh, all suggestions. In fact, this build configuration uh, came from one of my subs. Um, and I uh, thank you very much for that. I will pop your name up on screen and give you a shout out. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave them down below. Uh, if you look over all my videos, I try my very best to get back to each and every one of you. Um, you know, no, no matter what your comment, if your comment is bad, then you know I will still try and reply. If your comment is good, you know, you're definitely going to get a reply. Um, if it's a question, I'll try and help. Thank you very much to all the subscribers that have subscribed this week. Um, the, the growth on this channel, uh, although we're still talking sort of tiny numbers in compared to the big YouTubers, uh, the growth uh, that this channel has seen over the last week has been has been amazing. It exceeded all my expectations. Um, let's keep doing on what we're doing. Uh, you know, I'm really enjoying this. I'll continue to put out content as long as you guys want to see it. And if you would like to see any different content, you know, feel free to let me know down in the comments below, and I'll do my best uh, to get that sorted out for you. Anyway. As always, my name's been Cal. You guys have been amazing and continue to be amazing. Thank you very much again for the support so far. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.